inside Robbie Henshaw with Keenan back to join Jordan Armour and James Lowe in the back three. That is how the light out. Very strong Leinster bench as well, which will play its full part. Keen Healy, if he comes on, will Egan Ronan O'Gara's record in the Champions Cup. Well, what about the Tigers? They've made uh, three changes from last weekend's victory away against Newcastle. Dan Cole returning at tight head prop to join Julian Montoya and former Munster prop James Cronin in the front row. Wells and Heather in the second row. No Oli Chesham or Tommy Raffel, though. Liebenberg, Visa. World Cup winner and Cracknell making up the back row. Another South African World Cup winner leading the back stand, Andre Pollard in fly half. We have Kata and Kelly in the centre at 12 and 13 in the back three of Ollie Hassel Collins, Freddie Stewart and James Shilcock who lines out at full back. There's the bench as well. Cook in the cinema, Whiteley, Karen Duffford, Van Vick as well. All with the reasonable experience, domestic level. In England, but uh, a step up here to see if they can handle what comes at them from Leinster. Well, the protection of the stadium walls from whatever wind is around outside, plus the dry conditions, means we have a, an almost perfect night for a game. It's a healthy crowd, as you would expect as well, with the knockout stages in the Aviva Stadium. And I think Donald Lennon, in terms of Leinster this season and wanting to go and win this competition, is it important they put down a bit of a statement performance today against this Leicester Tiger side? Yeah, I think it is. Um, you know, we know they're top of the URC. It's business as usual on that front. Uh, they topped their pool in the uh, Champions Cup on their way to this. But uh, I thought they gave a little bit of a, uh, a statement performance last week against the Bulls. Uh, this is the business end of the year. This is the time when all the experience, all that international news has to come to the front. A big game tonight, a potentially even uh, massive game next week. And, uh, you know, I would say, as I said, in the build-up to the game when the Leinster players heard that La Rochelle sort of escaped to victory if you like in the end 16 points down against the Stormers eventually won by a point if you ever need an incentive a further incentive to win tonight then that's it because if they want to win this trophy they've got to beat the back-to-back -back champions on the way they do it's an all French officiating team Pierre Brousset a referee in charge Kevin Bradley and Jeremy Rosier his assistants our television match official is Denis Grenouille and we are ready to go. It'll be Andre Pollard, South African, two-time World Cup winner, to get us on the way at the this stadium. Caden Doris. He's impressive during the pool stages with the amount of carries that he made and leaders in contact as well. The entire. Against the back row, Go. all playing Nine their votes. part in some of the biggest performances. Nine of the Leinster starting 15 started the 27-10 victory. Outside, outside. Uh, I should say uh, against Leicester at Welford Road in the two stages. Nine. But it was 15-10 at half time. It was close enough up until the half time whistle before Leinster pulled away in the second half. Let's see what uh, kind of a challenge Leicester can put in early on. First take for Jamie Shilcock under the high ball. And it goes to Cronin, former Munster player, of course. Tackled by Ty Furlong. And Andre Pollard gets it. As well. Second in by Solomon Kasse. Attempted rubber kick through. But uh, coming off a Leinster player, and it'll be the first line out to the Tigers. Line out an area that they're quite strong in. Yeah, it certainly is. Well, uh, when you're the likes of Martin and Chesham there. Uh, Leicester would always put pressure on you in the air and Montoya of course an outstanding 55 caps for Argentina captained Argentina in the last World Cup uh, so you'll expect uh, there he goes quick yeah quick and time for Pollard little chip over the top Red perfectly though brilliantly by Jordan Armour and gets the ball away That's chance to move it wide now James Lowe <laughs> kick over the top needs a bounce but that one has got out in the full it's a, a rare mistake by the Leinster and Ireland International. Yeah, but look how quickly that uh, Leinster transition into attack, just that chip over the top by Pollard, br read brilliantly by Hugo Keenan, great to see him back in the side. And uh, James Lowe, that left boot, so reliable on so many occasions, but uh, just sliced off no. the outside. Not exactly what he was looking for. Stay here, I'll be on the new ball. Sorry, man. But he doesn't move. So Montoya 
Broke the bind and offside. Penalty to the Tigers. Yeah, and, and this is right up the rally. This is what they like to do. Be amazed if Pollard doesn't uh, drive this down the five metre line into the corner. Always so good at the basic Leicester. It's part of their DNA that line out Maul, regardless of the personnel, just the uh, technical execution, always spot on. Just see it here. And it's, uh, I think it's, is it Ryan Bear there? Yeah, he's the one who broke the bind. Right in front of the referee as well. And a good attacking opportunity for the Tigers, this one. Time off. Time off. We know, we for your side, all players at the same time, no two receivers, all players. And stay on the mark to have a good gap. Here, yeah. Open it. Open yeah, Barrow, it. step, step, step. Open it. Okay. Yeah, Perusse just trying to put down that marker early on. Well, another short one. Trying to catch Lancer on a way. It's gone into touch, though. And they were awake to whatever danger the Tigers were attempting there. Yeah, surprised that uh, Leicester went down that avenue, given just how well that first mall was set up. Really powerful carriers like Liebenberg and uh, Wiese in the back row. Good tackle from Ty Furlong as well, wasn't it? To shove him over that touchline. Line out to Leinster. Slap back, it's dangerous. Almost sat up there for Hatherall, but Leinster managed to come away with Josh van der Fleer. James Lowe lying deepest of all. Using nine. He's going to use his left boot to front, relieve a bit of pressure. It's a really good kick. Stewart. Quatres. Advantage 13. Blue offside. Another penalty. Advantage against Robbie Henshaw. Cronin breaks Three through. In front of kick. Nice offload to Jasper Wiese. And now the Tigers looking to attack inside the Leinster 22. Kata. Bouncing off the tackle, he's a big unit in inside centre. Still advantage for 13 offside. Another carry, Visa again, big South African forward, making his presence felt early on at the Aviva Stadium. Tigers get the offload, chance here for Pollard. Can he get the ball down? He can! Wow. What a score by the South African international. I tell you, he can kick, but he can score tries, don't let He it. certainly can, but uh, the build up from Leicester was absolutely outstanding. James Cronin, of all people, making that line break. If you go back to it, you'll see Josh van der Fleer, of all people. He was the fellow who fell off the tackle. And once Leicester got in behind that Leinster defence, they were in trouble. You just see it here, James Cronin just managing to beat the tackle. Offload to uh, Jasper Wiese, the big Springbok World Cup winner. And uh, the gap just opened up. Brilliant offload there in the tackle and Andre Pollard... Uh, that other South African World Cup winner, he was the one who finished it off. And if uh, Leinster thought they were going to get a stroll in the park, they've got the early warning five minutes into this game. What a start by the Tigers, exactly what they would have wanted or hoped for. And Pollard will knock over his own conversion for a seven points to nil lead at the Aviva. <laughs> Leinster fans have gone very quiet. Yeah, but it's the perfect start for Leicester, but worry uh, as we just see the build-up here again. And Pollard does really well to finish that, but worries for Leinster because uh, Hugo Keenan took a big knock in his attempt to tackle Salomone Kata, who's a, a huge unit, has played both rugby league and union for Tonga and indeed played rugby league for New Zealand. So uh, he knows all about running straight. But Leinster certainly on notice after that opening try. So Ross Byrne then to restart. Kata leaves this one for Hatherill. Big tackle from James Lowe. Winger dumping a second oh, row forward. He's off feet, number one. No, still in. Number one off feet, fine. Use it! Again. James Cronin just decided to erupt to secure possession. Using nine. Port Fleet. Can take his time here. Oh, 
Hugo Keenan. Saved pair of hands inside to Caelan Doris. Breaks the first tackle. Gets played to the 10 metre line. Now, Gibson Park. Porter. Henshaw. Stopped on his track. Advantage on the ball. Penalty Not Leinster. On the ball. Here. Slowing the ball. Got a bit of room on his left side, but Gibson Park goes up the middle. Back on his feet, oh, that's beautiful. Now, Ross Byrne, little step, looking for support, finds Porter. Yes, Munster yes, starting to yes, get a bit I of flow together feet. now. Yes, our feet are First vintage. real passages of possession in the match as Ross Maloney carries it in. Still playing penalty advantage. Henshaw behind, Byrne, quick hands, Jordan Lammer, dummy, back inside to Jamie Osborne. Tries to keep it alive, the penalty was coming. We go back, that's better from Leinster. Yeah, that's much better from Leinster. Just uh, first time in the game, Hugh, where they got a little bit of go forward. Big carries initially from Caelan Doris and from Andrew Porter. But uh, Jamison Gibson Park, what a fabulous pass out the back door to Ross Byrne. But Gibson Park, he's the guy who's going to ignite this side. And uh, Andrew Porter, you want to get that forward momentum penalty there. Tigers off their feet. No surprise, Leinster opting to go for the post, and uh, Ross Byrne has this early opportunity to get three points back, but that's oh, much better from Leinster. Starting to find a bit of a groove out there, Ross Byrne then, that was first shot at goal. 22 metres out, straight in front of the post as well. It is a bit windy outside of the stadium, walking around Lansdowne Road and Balls Bridge, but uh, such is the protection you get in here that it shouldn't have too much of an impact, if any on the place kickers. No problem. Seven points to three. Yeah, I think that's important. Psychological uh, moment for Leinster. Just to know when they get possession, they do have the capacity with those big ball carriers to get in behind that... Uh, Leinster defensive line. Finding is good. Gibson Park. Puts one high. Jamie Shilcock underneath. And then it goes to Visa. Good tackle. And Maloney to put him down, Cronin again, just checked his run slightly. Van der Fleer makes the tackle, kick over the top. Gibson Park closes the gap and then uses his feet to try and get away from one, but not Solomon Ikata. He just swallows him up in the tackle. Yeah, he did really well, released the ball there so he could play it again. Gibson Park, that second line of defence, really important because uh, Leicester have obviously identified that little now. bit of space in behind. Yeah, move back, you officer. Thank you. Nine, go. Back to James Hold. Lowe inside the 22, and he finds a safe touch. Let's go down pitch side. Bernard Jackman, a decent start for Leicester. Yeah, really good intent from Leicester, but I think there's a copy and paste to what we saw in Twickenham with England. If you remember the start of the game against England, England got massive pressure onto James Lowe's left boot. He ended up missing touch, kicking long, and they came back at us and hurt us. And just like that, Leicester aren't a counter-attacking team, but they had five in the backfield. They put pressure on James Lowe. He scuffed his kick, and then they were on the front foot. So Leicester at that time, James Lowe got it off the field, but didn't get anything like the distance he normally would. So some pressure from Leicester that they probably picked up on what England did to beat Ireland. Yeah, I'm sure conversations had between Dan McKellar and Steve Bortwick. Of course, former Leicester Tiger coach before he took the job at England. And uh, yeah, as you can see, well, Captain had a really good start to the game. Just knocked that on, took his eye off it completely. Bit of pressure from Leinster that time. Gibson Park back to James Lowe. Look at the pass on the outside now. Room for Jordan Lammer. Switch back inside to Keenan. Ross Burns straight to Tyke Furlong. Strong tackle to put him down. Penalty. Off their feet. Yeah, you could just see Leinster's intent. Every time that ball is turned over, they look to go wide, uh, try and play out to the 15-metre channels. 
and uh, that allowed Leinster to transition against that uh, green defensive line. I have to say, Leicester keeping as many players on their feet as possible. Jordan Larmer here has been in really good form of late, and uh, just the confidence I think that may have seeped out of his game in the last uh, six, nine months due to injury. Good to see him back. Yeah, and it's the kind of confidence really that only comes with playing games and playing well. He certainly has that four tries in the pool stage. There for Gibson Park, and behind it goes. On comes Sheehan to McCarthy. Joe McCarthy buckets his good to Jemison Gibson Park. That is a beautiful try. What a try by Leinster. Almost looking to set the record straight. We saw how clinical they were already in terms of uh, turnover possession. But that was a real case of backs and forwards understanding their roles. Just super play out the back, Dan Sheehan initially, and big Joe McCarthy didn't panic and they're under pressure. Superb pass on the inside, and Jemison Gibson Park, who started this game uh, on fire, gets the reward. 13 minutes in, first try for Leinster, and uh, so well put together. What a sight in, in motion, Joe McCarthy. But having the awareness, he had options on his inside and outside. I think he picked the right one. And Gibson Park, just in that trailer position, does superb to finish. Ross Bernard, the extra two points, so 10 points to seven. Leinster hit the front for the first time after 13 and a half minutes. Let's go back pitch side. Bernard Jackman, right, an immediate yeah. reply from Leinster there, and a really well worked try. Not there. No, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> okay. We'll come back to him. Oh. She in behind from Ross Byrne. Osborne. Carefully enough to play the penalty oh, over the ball. Oh, Looking for the referee's whistle on Ollie Cracknell. Clear it's gone release. against him, not first. releasing against the tackler. No clear release first. Yeah, Ollie Cracknell, that's his stock and trade. Uh, we would have thought Tommy Raffel would have been playing. What an influential player he was for Wales and the Six Nations. And uh, I think Raffel, he had one go at it, but he was cleaned out. A bit unlucky, to be honest I with you. It, I thought that was yeah, very harsh. Though. I think it is. I think it is harsh call. He did have his hands on the ball immediately, but uh, the Clino came in afterwards. I think that's harsh. He looked a bit amused, I have to say, but then start find touch from the line out and Shane to throw. Just a bit of attention there to Julian Montoya. His shoulder. Yeah, they'll hope that this guy is all right. Just a, a talismanic figure for Argentina over the years and. Uh, since he's come into Leicester, he's done the same in that uh, famous green jersey. Not too many foreigners get to captain Leicester Tigers, but uh, I think it's just a hallmark of the respect that he has in that club. John McKellar looks on. Uh, Bernard Jackman, if you can hear me, just your thoughts on the Leinster try there. Yeah, beautiful try. Um, and I think it's probably an area that Leinster have been disappointed with this year. Their, their set piece attack off line out. That's a real power play, two phase attack. Really good use of blockers as such, with, with staying legal and open up that opportunity for Joe McCarthy. And as it, as it showed pre match, just wants to get in behind you at the moment. Their support play and their ability to finish has been top notch. And really important for them to, to, to score you know, straight, pr pretty much straight after Leicester scored. Yeah, it's exactly what they did, and you, know, you never get the sense that that Leinster Using panic. Nine. Just get back to doing what they do very well. Plenty of height on the kick from Gibson Park. Equally good take from Shieldcock. Oh, in fact, excuse me, it was Freddie Stewart on the high ball. He must be hoping to force his way back into Steve Bortwick's plans, really. But the, uh, the injury, I should say, to George Furbank, he picked up the Six Nations. He's not on duty for Northampton tomorrow. He'll probably be back before any summer tour rugby, but uh, Freddie Stewart had that 15 jersey for so long. On the wing today for the Tigers. Here's McCarthy. Use it. Come on, 
this one. Another take from Freddie Stewart. Yeah, from Portley. Steve Ryan Bear getting up so quickly. Andre Pollard puts it up. Keenan's calling for it and claiming it. Now you put your house on him in situations like that. Penalty. Not releasing on the ground. Not enough Leinster players in to support the fullback when he did take it, and Leicester pounced. Yeah, uh, Leicester really smart there because uh, you look at Hugo Keenan, he has to launch himself, but by doing that, he gets separated from his support. And Dan Kelly, who uh, played under 20 rugby for Ireland a few years ago, he was the guy, he's the initial tackler, released and then got his hands on it. So Leinster or Leicester now have. No, that's not a great kick from Pollard, but. Uh, we know how tenacious they are in and around the breakdown. We've seen that already. It's when uh, Leinster move the ball so two or three passes out wide. That's where they're causing trouble. And Toya, OK to throw. Free kick, Leinster closing the gap. Yeah, you can see Leinster just... Uh, they're supposed to have a metre tunnel between the... Two lineouts and Leinster are just sure. creeping across at the last minute. Because you move, you can have to move. To so stay on your mark, please, yeah. for a fair contest. Andrew Porter and Dan Cole renewing acquaintances once again, Donald. Yeah, Dan Cole. I mean, incredible. Uh, you know, at this stage of his, he's 36 years of age now. 108 caps for England. Uh, 300. And, this is his 319th appearance for Leicester Tigers. And it just shows you how important that tight head side of the scrum. He's the one who has to anchor it, and uh, England tried to survive without him. Kyle Sinclair there for a couple of years didn't work out. Borthwick Crouch. went back to him, and he had a really productive Six Nations. Certainly did, yeah. It looked like after the World Cup that his England career may be coming to an end, but uh, still going strong. Why not? On your side, too much weight, and you move your back foot. Yeah, it's amazing how every prop forward these days, the minute the referee asks them to break up, both of them look to the assistant referee straight away and start blaming the other fella. Yeah. The assistant referees obviously are, are mic'd up to the ref, and uh, the players know there's communication going on all the time there. But uh, it's a big battle there between Porter and Cole, James Cronin, of course, on the other side. Three Ireland caps, former Munster player. He did come up against Tyke Furlong on many occasions. Set. Again, that was a messy hit. It's already from Leicester. Yeah, I think it's against Cronin. Just trying to hold back there. Number three, early engage. Of course, it is a free kick, so he won't kick straight to touch. No, kicking it to Freddie Stewart isn't the greatest idea either. No, and uh, all the time in the world, really, then, for Shilcock to pick his spot. Hugo Keenan. Back there goes Stewart. Oh, very unlucky. Very unlucky. Well, he got a horrible bounce, didn't he? Do you know what? It's not his favourite part of the field. I think no. just in down there he got sent off against Ireland. Yeah. Uh, was it in, in uh, the Six Nations last year? Captain. And to be fair to Freddie Stewart, he was over Captain. on the left wing a couple of minutes ago. He was back covering full back. He's, he's picked on the right wing, but the ball just creating havoc there, bouncing away from him at the last minute. <laughs> Just that big Ireland front row there, oh. Porter, Sheehan and Tyke Furlong, such a huge role they have to play for Leinster. You saw Sheehan and Furlong in particular, they came off the bench against the Bulls, two points behind last week at half-time, but the impact they had was absolutely Free massive. Stepping back. Free, you step back. I think we've had more free kicks in the first 20 minutes than we probably had in the first four rounds. The scrum is a mess. It just takes so much time now with resets and uh, everybody trying to second guess what they're doing. On that occasion, uh, he penalised Tyke Furlong for doing the same thing that James Cronin did only uh, in the previous scrum. And nobody put a name on that for Leinster. And the result is that Leicester Tigers have the ball back. Guilty of standing back and watching things happen there. Van Portfleet trying to dummy. 
Nobody bought that one. Tackle from Berge off their feet at the breakdown. Let's Crazy. Sleep with the penalty. Yeah, it's Cracknell. You just see there the minute Van Fortfleet went to ground. Cracknell. Seven. He was like a fella in the Olympic diving competition, straight over the top. You're never going to get away with that, straight under the nose of the referee. Just watch it here. Loose ball. But forward just there. You just can't do that. You've got to stay on your feet. So line out Leinster. Fourth penalty conceded by the Tigers. Discipline has not been a problem for him in the Premiership. One of the best records over the course of the season so far. I think that happens to you when you're playing opposition like this. You're so desperate to compete. No and yeah, of course, there, there. Leinster just hand it back. Montoya against Sheehan. Two hookers having a go. From Port Leeds, out it goes to Visa. James Lowe was getting ready Go for this on. one. No, stop! Oh. Too, too far for him. Back it goes, Van Portlead again. Tackled by Osborne. Pollard. Now, there's a huge amount of room in behind him. James Lowe can put it over the head of Freddie Stewart. Back goes Pollard, he covered the ground pretty well. Gibson Park. Leinster peel to the left hand side. I'm going to try and put uh, the ball through the hands here. Henshaw. Oh, if he'd got that way to Keenan. It would have been through. Gibson Park again using that quick feet. And the acceleration off the mark to get away from the tackle. Now McCarthy doesn't want to get isolated here. James Lowe goes in support. Now they work the blind side. Beautiful to Sheehan. Now Sheehan back inside to Gibson Park. It's going to get his second try. It's as easy as that. Oh, but he makes it look easy, Hugh. That's the difference. He scans the pitch. He knows where the space is. He put Dan Sheehan away. Sheehan knew if he could get it back on the inside, then Leinster were in a, in a good place. But... Uh, Two tries already for him, and he's orchestrating everything at the moment. Robbie Henshaw, I think, does well not to force that pass. Gibson Park, watch him. Uh, picks out Sheehan straight away and just supports on the inside. But earlier, when he was held up, he released the ball again, got back in his feet, uh, knew just uh, playing the laws of the game. Just pulls away there, Van Portfleet trying to get back, and Sheehan recognising support on the inside, and that's superb from... Gibson Park. What a game he's having. As you say, you know, to get on the end of the pass is one thing, but he is the vision in chief that recognises, maybe to the untrained eye, Donald, there's no room on that blind side. He makes the room. He does, but he, you know, he slows down the game when he needs to. He scans the pitch, he sees, wow. and that's, a, you know, it's a crucial part of the game. He has to assess in a split second, what, you know, go left or right, and nine times out of ten, he picks the right option. So Ross Byrne, two from two. Toughest kick of the match so far. Now it's gone left and wide. Bernard Jackman, Jemson Gibson Park once again showing why he's the best scrum half in Ireland. Yeah, it's rare that a player just takes her breath away and like by far the best player in the field in the first 25 minutes. Just his speed of thought, his speed of action, and we've seen him a couple of times after the tackle, just release the ball and then go again for another couple of yards. And he did that once in that phase of play, but then he's back on his feet. And, and we know he can play both sides of the rook. And when you've Dan Sheen on the wing and the pace he has, it's like having a winger there. And it's just such, it's so hard for Leicester to try and pin Leinster down because we've seen him be dangerous off set piece, but then we see him in multi phase there having a multitude of different options and you know I've really built built into this game and Leicester are starting to look at each other now saying where are we going to find entry points into this match yeah and it's it's hard to see where they can you know brilliant start inside what six seven minutes with that try from Pollard but since then it's like they've opened the beast and Leinster have just looked cruise control Van Portfleet, Kata, 
Pollard, beautiful. That's much better. And a bit of room on the outside. No chance here for Hassel Collins. Hasn't touched the ball yet. Inside the Leinster 22. What can the Tigers mount in terms of a response here? Jasper Visa takes it in. Pass outside to Hatherell. Pretty well marshaled by Ross Maloney and Andrew Porter. Kata again trying to use his power. Can't get past Baird. Short top Montoya. Seven and Sheen have got at each other a few times, almost seem to be singling each other out when they have the ball. Where is him? Penalty for the Tigers. Leinster not releasing when the tackle is made. Chance to move it wide here. Stewart trying to bounce off Gibson Park. Into touch, but Leicester have the penalty. Yeah, Joe McCarthy followed through on the rock there, but uh, I think it was earlier for... Not sure which Leinster player it was, didn't roll away, but that's better from Tigers. Very good attack. They get um, Haskell Collins, who we know is a flyer, Mister, made his name for London Irish, uh, unfortunately, when they went out of business, uh, yet to find that's a new him. club. But he has that pace, two caps for England, but you just see it there, it's a, a mixture. The penalty was given at that stage, but uh, again, Gibson Park and Hugo Keenan. Freddie Stewart's a big man. Just getting him over the touch, and uh, no surprise that Pollard is going to go for the three points here. Try and keep in touch, that's all they can do. That's key, isn't it, for the Tigers? If they can just keep in touch and then take any chances that come their way, this is a gift of the three points. Fifteen points to ten, the gap is five. Yeah, I think it's been a, a very entertaining opening 29 minutes. We saw Leicester arrive, backs to the wall. They were superb in that opening five, six minutes, really threw the gauntlet down to Leinster, and uh, Leinster couldn't get their game going. But when they do, when, you know, they transition from defence into attack, superb from broken play. And uh, every time they've got into that opposition, 22, they've scored. Difficult week for the Tigers, really. I mean, look, they had a... Decent win in Newcastle last week, and they were down to 12 players at one stage. But they were fine this week for uh, breaches in the financial fair play rules in terms of salary cap. And uh, look, I, I guess the asterisks around the English Premiership at the moment is all the financial troubles that the clubs are experiencing. Well documented at this stage. Yeah, it is, and uh, you know the salary cap is so much smaller than you know what we have in France and indeed what we have here in Ireland. There isn't a salary cap as such, but uh, they're certainly at a disadvantage. Gibson Park switches with James Lowe, coming back into a wall of green jerseys, though. Maloney. McCarthy. Henshaw gives it short to Osborne. One on one. Shirley back inside. It's not going to be a hat trick, is it, for Gibson Park? It is, you know. It is, you know. A hat trick inside half an hour. That's incredible. Probably the smallest man on the field. A hat trick in a round of 16 in 30 minutes. But again, it's just that trailing line inside. It's the understanding of the game. Hats off to. Jamie Osborne, we spoke about him in the in the build-up to the game. A great inside line from him. Robbie Henshaw just recognising that. And uh, as always, Gibson Park, he just runs that sort of 15-metre channel in the middle of the field. Always there, always ready to take that pass. And uh, what an opening 30 minutes has been for him. But hats off here to Jamie Osborne. Really talented player, has to make his mark tonight, and uh, if he keeps going like that, who knows, he could be here against La Rochelle next week, depending, of course, on where Gary Ringrose is. Try number 30 on the stroke of 30 minutes for Jemison Gibson Park in a Leinster jersey. Conversion to come, and Leinster really now threatening to pull away. 22 points to 10. Leicester hit three, Leinster responded with seven. Yeah, but look, uh, it's simple in the end, just Robbie Henshaw committing the defence, a brilliant uh, under his line from Jamie Osborne and recognised immediately by Henshaw. It, they make it look easy, don't they? they do. A 
bonus points, of course, not an issue Outside. today, but uh, three Outside. tries already. It was in the pool stages. Yeah. Hold. Out. Low chasing. Got a, a half a hand to it. And now Ryan Baird. Now oh, went forward. Yeah, I that think it did. Initial thought from Dan Sheen. Okay. Green, same line, and knock on Ruyer. Just Ryan Baird, I think, trying to tap it back there. The it definitely goes forward from Sheehan initially. Baird was okay. Scrums have been a mess. We've only had two of them, and uh, both of them have ended up in free kicks. Let's see what happens here. Coach. Plenty of experience in both front rows. Got to get the message eventually. Burn. Set. <laughs> it would appear not. No one goes down. Okay, time off. Who cares? Who cares? I told you on the transition room. I don't want overleaning and pressure on the shoulder. Both team push on the shoulder, there is no good balance and every scrum are going to the ground. So you have to change, speak to your team. If you don't change, we can ask a other player to come on the field. Okay. Perfect. Okay? Here we go. Now, the, the problem first is the setup. You know, it's always difficult for a referee to try to and no talk to front row forwards to tell them what they should be doing in a scrum. Like, to put due respects to yeah. Pierre Brousse, he looks as if he might have played a few games on the wing at yeah. best in his time. Yeah. And uh, you could just see Julien Montoya and Dan Sheehan looking at him as if to say, try give it a go yourself there, see how you get on. <laughs> Lost in translation, the old French to English. But anyway, look, they have to, uh, the, the, the root message is just throw it out to scrums. Like, you know, yeah. it's been a mess. I think so you're going to, look, there's a review going on on the, some of the laws of the game. I think this is one Set. you might have a 30 second shot clock on scrums it's just a mess Standing up. takes up too much time Standing up. yet the scrum is such an integral part of the game you've got to keep it but you've got to make it uh more it's it's got to just be more rapid you can't have this yeah. thing going on every time you have an engagement hard for andrew porter to engage with someone who's on his knees but well, it uh, is i don't think dan sheen agrees neither does he mm. Quizzical look. Let's have another go. Let's go, bro. Let's go, bro. On the ass, boys. Seconds. Yes. Rose. Alex. Crouch. Bind. Back foot. Set. That's better. Can Portfleet trying to get it away? Kata takes it to the line, but he's watched by Jamie Osborne and puts him down. Stop. Out it goes. Shilcock puts it through. Might sit up now for Hassel Collins. Fourteen is on side, I think. Seen, get a bit more. Ball in space, not on the board. Flyer, as Donald mentioned, but it just has had very little to work with. Here's Cronin. Leave it. Of Our feet. Doris told to leave it. Kata again. He's a handful, isn't he? He is. He's a brick of a man. Out it goes. Shilcock. Hadro. Money's here. Fine. Hard. Very, very good. Behind, Kata again, bit of room left side now. Pass was flat. Out on the wing. Decker! Holy crap, no. Drags himself to the Leinster 22. Cronin again. And busy. Yeah, he's had a good game, James Cronin. Oh, Pollard back inside. Lovely off to Kelly on his shoulder. 10 and 13 for Leicester, trying to close the gap. I think. They know, and everybody else knows, unless they score next, this one could be away from them before half time. There for Montoya. From Portfleet to Cronin, another carry. 
Yeah, just important for Leinster to keep their discipline here now. Cats out to Kelly, gets the hand free. Pass on the outside, meant for Liebenberg. With a step off his right foot. Ball out, Berger, just ball is out. Not cover. Step from Shilcock. Well, there's comfortable on the ball here now, Joe McCarthy. 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 Just as I said, how comfortable they were not going through the phases. Joe McCarthy gets a big paw on it and rips it away. Is it tight? James Lowe dropping deep. A fit. Caelan Doris goes straight through. Hold in front. Hold on. James Lowe buys them an awful lot of time. Yeah, he does. Pressure. It's, you know, it's amazing just how often Leinster go to that get out of jail card as we uh, just see the kick in behind there. Haskell College, a flyer, as you say. Not sure uh, if that was his best option, but uh, it just didn't work for him. Bernard Jackman, 36 minutes gone. You know, I guess, bar that early Leicester Tigers try, Leinster have just looked very, very comfortable out there. Yeah, Leinster have been clinical. Dominic Keller said before the game, Leinster will take every opportunity you give them. And I actually don't think Leicester have given them a huge amount. Leinster have created um, three opportunities and have, have three tries to, to show for it. Been ruthless, absolutely ruthless. Because Leicester haven't done a huge amount wrong defensively, but every mistake they made, Leinster punished them. And I think they'll be really happy with how they've built into this game and the tempo they're playing at. Just going back to Dolan's point about the scrum, I agree it is a, an absolute mess, but I think we've got two packs who want to go at each other and they want to scrummage okay. aggressively. And I, I can hear the ref mic there, from Leinster saying, let's go on the S, right? Which is the S of the set. So, so the referee calls Crouch bind set and they're just looking to preempt it and that's what they're getting caught for I actually think the referee's been too lenient the free kick isn't a big enough deterrent yeah and you know maybe a, a couple of penalties here if he's if he's clear who's made the mistake and the reason we don't have any front rows referees because we can't keep up for the 80 minutes and that's why we have to have fellas who played on the wing or scrum half five. but uh, we'll get there eventually uh, listen in your day maybe but Dan Sheehan can keep up for <laughs> yeah Dan Sheehan could but we'll have to wait till he retires <laughs> yeah but it's a good look it's a good point about the referee I mean how many times can you keep giving a free kick for the same infringement okay. the penalty or two might sort it out here's Jasper Vise tackled by Caelan Doris tries to rip the ball away but uh, Tiger still have it Porter over the top nine. Just a little bit too ahead of himself, and the penalty is for the Tigers. Well, if Ali Crackton was going to be penalised in the opening 20 minutes for diving in, then uh, Andrew Porter, sorry, we know what you're trying to do, but uh, no way. Never get away with that. Because they move, he actually stop trips and over. Move back oh. side. Not sure what he was thinking there. You know, they're the type of things, you know, if Leinster and it looks as if they will be in that quarter-final next week. You can't afford to give away silly penalties like that against a team with the power that La Rochelle will carry when they get into this area of the t of the field. The likes of Will Skelton, Nuni, Antonio, you're not going to be able to repel them that easy. So discipline is everything, and I'd say it's something Leo Cullen will be talking about at half-time. Montoya. Tigers trying to strike before the break to give themselves something to build on half time. Once! And Paul Fleets. Another little break from him. But why didn't they play advantage? Was it forward? Yeah. Oh. Penalty oh, gone to Leinster. Meters, he was dear. facing it away about a second ago. Yeah, no, I think it was for offside in midfield. Look at James Lowe, he's away. <laughs> Back inside, Gibson Park. Spencer wasting no time. For every player except for Joe McCarthy lined up on the left right hand side of the rook. Yeah, Leinster doing everything to slow down that ball. Ross Byrne out to Osborne. Skip pass to the outside where Jordan Armour's waiting. He's doing one of his uh, cross field runs. Got to straighten up though. Shoulder into contact. Yeah, the problem with those cross field runs is you eventually end up running into the really big fellas. Robbie Henshaw, little dummy, oh, Osborne, lovely line. Just to get forward, momentum over the gain line. This is where the gaps come from Leinster. That's beautiful from That's Osborne. Good. Beautiful hands. Sheehan on the outside now. Needs a perk. Rubber kick through. Gibson Park is after it. He's already scored his quota of tries for today, but he's still looking for work. Yeah, but Dan Sheehan is ridiculous. A hooker oh, no, kicking the ball like that, on. running on the full. It's difficult for a, a winger or a full back to do it.
just such an incredibly skillful player. On the 40 now, Tigers might be happy to get to half time. I think so. Well, there we go. So, the Jemison Gibson Park show in the first half at the Aviva Stadium. It was the Tigers who struck first through Andre Pollard, but a hat trick from the Leinster scrum half means that the home side are in cruise control. Half time at the Aviva Stadium, Leinster 22, Leicester 10.
So side go first, okay? You get three catches each, take it. Sorry, there's my voice. There we go.
40 minutes away if they can keep it going from a place in the quarterfinals back here next Saturday at the Aviva to play La Rochelle. Leicester Tigers, what can they do to stop Leinster in this second half? It's a difficult task, Donald Lennon. Yeah, it certainly is. And I was looking at some of the stats there, you at half time. I mean, Leinster have scored three, uh, three tries of 46% possession and 32% territory, which is incredible, really, uh, in total. Leicester Tigers, they've missed 21 tackles. Win something? Yeah, amazing. And look, that, that is the tail of the tape for the first half. Leinster were just so ruthless and clinical when the opportunities presented themselves. And that's the reason why they're ahead on the scoreboard. Using nine. Going around Port Fleet. No changes that we can see so far. Back runs by Green. Short one to Visa. Use it. Hugo Keenan just pulling Kalen Doris into the backfield to help him with this one. Just dropping short for him. Porter Rangers touched no it. Gun. It went backwards as the referee. Or forwards from a Tiger's hand, so advantage to Leinster. Step in front, advantage over for Lucon. Ross Bond sends it down the middle. Time to show clock here. He finds a good touch. Yeah, a good touch kick there, and uh, Bernard alluded to the, the talent that Leinster have on the bench, and uh, you just look at it here, they've seven internationals, 233 caps uh, between those seven on the are they the eight players on the bench by way of contrast Leicester okay, one international 
That's the great Mike Brown, yeah, the 38 years that's of that's age, 72 yeah. caps. But, uh, you know, it's asking a lot to ask Mike Brown to come on and yeah, try and turn game. this game. Yeah. Even for all that experience that he has, as uh, Dan McKellar looks on, started his coaching career in Wicklow Rugby Football Club 20, 2001, as far as I know, 23 years ago. Yeah, I think he's, uh, he's the first man who did Wicklow and Leicester Tigers. <laughs> <laughs> and he might very well be the last. <laughs> But yeah, nice connection to have for the Australian, obviously, oh, with, with Ireland. And he's gone on to bigger and brighter things since then. Last round of the, the club yes. leagues right across the country this weekend. Massive weekend for all the Irish clubs and the permutations regarding the playoffs and relegation and relegation playoffs all became clear today. So best no, of luck for all the clubs involved over the next couple of weeks or so. Crossfield kick from Ross Byrne. Just a bit too high for Ryan Baird, who did his level best. He certainly did, but even his athleticism couldn't rescue that kick. Freddie Stewart chases his own kick, it's going to drop, and Baird, who got up off the ground, covered half yeah, the pitch. Look on here. And managed to catch it. Went forward. No advantage, always under pressure. Yeah, and it's uh, in the point there. There is only 12 points between the teams, so I think... Uh, Colin will certainly be anxious for Leinster to try and spread that gap a little bit more. I'm going to ask you a question now. Can you remember a game, 42 and a half minutes gone, and we haven't had one intervention from the TMO yet? We haven't had to go to a TMO once. Yeah, it's been it a long time since a match where you haven't had one. It is, and uh, well, really, I suppose outside of the, the messy scrums, there's been nothing confrontational as such, but uh, yeah. you know, long may it continue. Absolutely, that's why it's maybe one of the reasons why the first half seemed to fly by. Anyway, let's see if the scrums can Bang. resolve themselves after the restart. Set! That's a better hit. Now, Tigers get the squeeze on Leinster, and, then and they have a penalty. Well, really well done at the set piece. Visa to Van Portfit, behind the back to Pollard. That's miles forward. And Hugo Keenan hasn't heard where he has now heard the whistle. I tell you, Hassel Collins was pressure. not many quicker Close than him. Up. It would have been an interesting race, though. Yeah, it certainly would have been. But uh, on this side of the field, James Cronin and Dan Cole giving themselves a big high five. They may be behind, but this is their stock and trade. They'll be talking about that one going back in the plane. Big scrum, Dan Cole. It was a lion 11 years ago. He's had a, a remarkable career, really, given that uh, you know he had a, a, a torrid World Cup final 2019 when I he remember. came on for Sinclair and people wrote him off. He didn't play internationally for a couple of years, but uh, he's, he's, look, he's solid without being spectacular. Is well, that he is. He's a, yeah, he's, he's, he's an old-fashioned scrummager. Uh, yeah. they, they, he's what tight head tops always were like you lock the scrum mm. you give it solid base for others to play and express their talents yeah exactly ball tap back to Jasper Visa from Portford goes right and the way and for Kraken to, to muscle his way there? through but it's a good position for the Tigers here when they get something cat in behind the Pollard wants to break the line though and they make it very difficult for the Tigers to force it to the wide channel. Now they've got there, Stewart into Porter. Visa calling for it again, gives a soft pass to Hatherell. And go blindside this time. Now, was that delivered by James Lowe? Well, the flag is out. I think Lowe's in trouble here. Montoya, pick and go. advantage. We're going to check this one, so uh, the TMO is going to get a chance to earn his few quid. You should have kept your mouth shut. I should have kept my mouth shut. Story of my life, Don Lennon. You never end. Yeah, I think James Lowe is in trouble. Intestinal He's going straight to the pocket. He doesn't even need it, uh, the TMO to make I that think decision. There is a blue who is covering. All of a sudden, no. Yeah. You see Leinster going to the corner blue, here. Blue. One man right. advantage. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, it's it's. Oh, okay. Okay. There is, there's no doubt it goes off his hands. He's you know, I've, he's a no question. It's a penalty. I mean, he's, he ah, is sorry, wrapping his arm. I, I don't know. Yeah. Look, I mean, well, I think to be fair, if you look, if there was nobody outside, are they looking at potential so penalty try? We just check if there is put a charge. If there's a if, if there's no cover outside and then it's so a penalty try. We need the wide angle, Dini. Dennis Canouille for the first time in the match. We might get to hear his uh, dulcet French tones. 
Dat is oké, maar. Ja, dat is even lekker. Oh ja, I think you would as well. There is cover coming across. Voor mij, ja, twee spelers die komen. Denis, ja, ja, ja. Oui. Okay. Oh, I think Jordan Lambert okay. would have got there. Yeah, he's just said there are two the players back. coming across. Yeah. So. so, no penalty try. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. clear, clear. So, I think they were right back. to look at it, despite the fact that you were trying to put a muzzle on him. No, but my English is not good enough. <laughs> okay. Ten minutes have been for James Lowe, then. Yeah, and if uh, if Tigers are to score here, then we're, we're, they're back in the ball game. Open that. Open. So Montoya, Leinster fans roaring on the home side to try and keep them out here. Vista takes it. This is good. They're trying to set the driving more. That's a good start. They're still going forward. It's so hard to stop. They're over the line, but where's the ball? A pile of bodies. Is it down? Cronin has it down. Yeah, I think he has. James Cronin ball for the Tigers the gets one back. Ball on the line. No well, that ball, they've win, threatened to do contest. that all night, and uh, you just wonder what are the consequences in terms of um, if Leinster do advance from this. I have no doubt La Rochelle will look at that playbook. James Cronin has had a fabulous game. I always thought Munster Aird and leaving him go when they did, and uh, he's certainly been impressive tonight. You just see here the ball was held up initially. You just see number one there, ball comes back to him. Definite try, nothing wrong with that. So James Cronin makes it a seven-point game, conversion to come. And all of a sudden the Tigers are back in this. Pollard, that's a beautiful strike. Oh, just off the post. So, so close. So the gap is seven points. Bernard Jackman, the Tigers, back in this game. A response by the Tigers coming straight out and getting back into Leinster. And it came from a scrum where the scrum has been really messy, but no team, neither side looked like they had dominance. But that was an incredibly dominant scrum. And I have no surprise Andrew Porter has gone off being replaced by Keane Healy because there was obviously something wrong in that scrum. Or his, I'm not sure whether it's a HIA or whether he, he has a knock, but the Tigers dismantle Leinster and it's really important Keane Healy now shores that up because they will sniff blood smell blood <laughs> either one's fine yeah big moment as well for Keane Healy it. his uh, 110th Champions Cup appearance yeah, yeah. It goes level with Ronan O'Gara yeah it's no mean feat Hugo Keenan calling for it tackled by Liebenberg who drags them back over the halfway line Maloney. Yeah. To Harry Wells. Should be there for Cubs and Tarot. Yours in nine. Pollard's yeah. dropped right back. Yeah. Think he knows what's coming here. Safe take. And a good tackle. Maloney. Using nine. It's going to drop just over halfway, but again, nobody from uh, Leinster was prepared to put a name on him. Montoya comes Second. away. Stephen Sheehan once again going head to head. There's a dummy and a step from Cronin. Second. Straight into Joe McCarthy. To roll away, but he's no, trapped no. underneath the ground. Let, let him leave. Let him leave. What is there? No, the ball is available, so McCarthy get away with it. There is no penalty if he traps the player. Another high one. This time, Hugo Keenan says it's all mine, and that's exactly what he does. Now, Van der Fleer, Gibson Park, Bears spins out a one. Turnover. Turnover ball. Tigers That's have it. Incredible turnover there. Chance to attack down the right hand side. Intercepted. On a plate for Robbie Henshaw. 
who sprints away and just when the Tigers look like they might have a chance, Robbie Henshaw closes the door and Leinster push clear. Ah, oh, that's a killer from a Leicester point of view. I just see a... Uh, was it Henry Liebenberg, who I think was the one who turned over that? Couldn't believe it. After that magnificent bit of work, when he got back on his feet, all he could see was Robbie Henshaw running the length of the field. There is, yeah, it is Liebenberg. Brilliant turnover from him. He was getting a pat on the back from Dan Cole, and then when he looked up, just the pass was asking too much. Never on. Robbie Henshaw read it the whole way. And that is Merci. a knife in the attempt of the Tigers to come back. And I'll tell you what as well, it, it is, there is a risk associated with that because he was the last defender, Donald, so yeah. if he misses that, it's open Well, season. I think, yeah, but that's the way Ninarba wants you to... You've got to commit, you've got yeah. to go, you've got to shoot out of the line. But the ball was hanging in the air so long, Hugh, it was a, just too tempting a target, but that is a real killer blow because, let's be honest, the opening 10 minutes, Leicester Tigers have been excellent. Yeah, they were, they were right back in this, and that's a hammer blow. Ross Byrne to knock over the extra two. We bring Leinster to 29. And half an hour still to play. Yeah, and uh, as I mentioned, the, the, the bench that Leinster still has to, to go for. You just see the pass here. It is Dan Kelly. Just asking too much. But you look at the likes of Ronan Kelleher, Michael Alarato, Jason Jenkins, Jack Conan. I mean... How disappointed must he be not to be starting tonight? I thought he was superb against the Bulls last week. And you can be sure, once those players come off the bench, they'll want to put a marker hold, down for next hold. week. Absolutely. In fields of Pollard. Here's Hassel Collins. He's just been living off scraps, really. Yeah, good tackle from Baird. Oh, wait now! Van Vick is on in place of James Cronin, who had a, a very strong 51 minutes. Yeah. And as he said, like, there was a lot of a raised eyebrows when he was allowed to leave Munster, or whatever you want to phrase it, but uh, he's, he's shown his work here again. He didn't want to leave Munster. No, exactly. I see Jack Cronin is up now, he's the subs top off, so he'll be coming in in the next break of play. No, no, backwards. Seven. Move back. Using nine. Hold. Jordan Armour giving chase here. Andre Pollard underneath it. He decides to leave it. That was probably the right decision. Yeah, just again, the, the, the hang time on that kick from Gibson Park. Just so skillful. Cody! Cody! Five! That Henshaw try just has taken the stuffing out of Leicester. Bear in mind that uh, Leinster don't have 14 men. That's why they didn't have a fellow outside him. James exactly. Lowe, of course, is in the sin bin. And their line-out, which was immaculate in the opening half, eight from eight. Just a crooked throw here okay. from Montoya. Time off. Seven, two, and here and come three. the so, replacements. Ronan Keller. Michael Alatoa and Jack Conan off the bench the into the action. Yeah, and you can be sure there is an element where Leo and uh, Jacques Nienaber want to keep these guys a little bit fresh for what's going to be a monumental physical battle next week. What's your assessment of today? Uh, there's two schools of thought on. One is that, you know, La Rochelle weren't at their best today and they got away with it. The other is the Stormers is a tough place to go. They're a very good side and it was a very good comeback win. Yeah, it certainly was. I mean, for those who hadn't watched it, La Rochelle were 16 points down. I didn't think they looked particularly sharp. They haven't been playing at the level. Yeah. You know, they've, they've lost a lot of games in top 14. But, um, you know, they showed again the gut, the resilience to get back into the game. OK, Manny Libok missed the conversion at the end. Uh, La Rochelle got out by a point, but they've had a heavy week. I mean, big top 14 game last week. They only arrived in uh, Cape Town on Tuesday. They'll be back uh, tomorrow. Uh, or they won't get back to France until Monday morning. So, um, a big week ahead of them, but uh, there's a carrot there for both teams. Let's be honest, there's no love lost between the Leinster and La Rochelle, so... Uh, it's it's Roger, going to be Roger, Roger will be a busy man this week with uh, between the examiner and the podcasts and the radio stations and he'll have to turn his phone off I'd say at some stage uh, that on top of the coaching duties but look the, 
there's still 27 minutes well, to there play is, here. and there's, there's 14 Fouts. points in it. You just, you know, you, you feel Leinster, they're Boy. obviously in a commanding position, and uh, with that bench they have, Set. you just feel they should kick on from here. But as I say, there's Jack Conan back in at number eight. No, no, no. So, uh, you just come off. Stop Stop. Ryan Baird, I think, is the one that's gone no, no. off. So you have uh, Caelan Doris shifts to the side of the scrum. I wonder, could you see that combination next week? Yeah. Certainly, I think Jack Conan, given the power, the explosive, just that physicality yeah, that you need. Absolutely, he is one that I would certainly be considering right from the off. Yeah, a couple of interesting calls ahead, but look. Let's see how they go here tonight. Conan Fouts. at eight. Doris gone to the open side. And Ryan Baird. Bye. Jordan Armour standing right behind the feet of the number eight at the moment. Set. Yeah, sorry, his friend of Fleer has gone off. Not Ryan Baird. That's a powerful scrum. Well, there you go. The change is made in the front row. And Leinster managed to win the penalty. Yeah, and that was... Uh, for Key and Healy up against Dan Cole. How many times have they played against each other over the years? And uh, James Lowe, time on the clock is up. He's mad keen to get back on. The big opportunity for here you now for Leinster to put a little bit more space. I'd say they know each other by the smell of their breath at this stage. They've played so many times for club and country. Yeah. But Great uh, scrum by Leinster. Brilliant given scrum. what happened, Key and Healy be thrilled with that. Cole goes off, and Will Hurd comes in. Oh. Yeah, and hats off to Dan Cole. Great servant of the game. Kelleher finds Maloney. With excess. Now Leinster try and flex their muscles. Tigers got over from a driving One. wall down Release. the other end, but uh, Leinster have to go to the back line. Jamie Osborne On straight board. into Kata. Oh, wait, no! Options both sides for Gibson Park. Baird tries to get away, does get away. And now Cracknell over the ball. Who's over the ball? Oh, they got a penalty. No, it's advantage to Leinster. Yeah, Leinster have the penalty. We have a green attack on our rear and the end of the ground. There is a green attack on our rear. Yeah, just Leicester in their desperation to try and slow down Ryan Baird, who did really well to those yards after contact. Big debate, are they going to do the short penalty? It's become a speciality with Leinster. Or are they going for the scrum? Just see Bear, great footwork there. Just pumping the legs, getting beyond the first tackler. And uh, I think Visa, a judge not to be supporting his body weight. Big blind side here, Jordan Lammer is just clinging on to the right-hand touchline. Gibson Park, as always, scanning, looking to see what the best option is, having a board here with uh, Ross Byrne. Hugo Keenan standing directly behind Ross Byrne, so all kinds of options on here. I think they'll look for Alex Toa to give him a, a right-hand angle here on this side of the scrum. Set! There you go. Brilliant, Jack Conan. Jack Conan gets there. Did he drop it? Try given off the bench, straight off the try list. Uh, look, I really admire this guy. I think he's uh, been in incredible form lately. He's certainly given Leo Cullen a message. That pole off the back of the scrum, as I mentioned, just the uh, right-hand angle. From Michael Allender no to Powers to yes, he did oh, drop he it. it. That was my first okay. impression, to okay. be fair. Okay, Chemo check. I, I thought no, it was we separation. Yeah, definitely drops We will put on the studio one okay. to check. Okay. And no con on okay. the uh, during the grounding piece. He must have known so that himself. Just page. played the poker face going back. In fairness to him, yeah. because uh, my first impression was even from the narrow angle that he had dropped it. There's no question. This is going to be chalked off. He'd be frustrated with that. Look, I mean, there's two, together. three pairs hanging out of him, but yeah, when just to determine in, what is the voir. hand coming in. Là, et là, y a plus de possession, y en a pas. Not even close. <laughs> you know. So no I'm con, no try. Who... Where is the no con? Yeah, yeah it's Liebenberg's uh, hand. Just does yeah, really well to dislodge oui, it. Pour moi, il avait la ligne. Hein. Uh, okay. 
Can you show me again the first? This is the thing uh, amazes Angel, me. It's Just clear, sure it's obvious. Why do we waste so much time? The other one. Avalanche, okay, Pierre. Avalanche. Avalanche. Okay, no try, no con before the line. Scrum. Scrum, Tigers. Yeah, but I think I can already see Key and Healy having a word with Ronan Kelleher. They're going to have a goal here. If you remember uh, that front row, we're under a bit of pressure against uh, the Bulls in the opening half last week, so they'll want to make a statement here coming off the bench. They already have, to be fair. But uh, got to put pressure here now on Tigers. Coach! Bye! Set! Again, pressure from Leinster. That's for Visa wasting no time getting rid of that ball, but he's been swallowed up by three Leinster players. Well, Jemison Gibson parked it incredibly well to stop. There must be about a five stone differential. Using nine! Just pure determination from Leinster scrum half. And Portfit to try and relieve a bit of pressure here with this kick. Well, it's going to bring it to just outside the 22, but that's all, not even. No, Leinster really. They've got to squeeze Tigers here. They need that other. They need to put more daylight between the teams. Keller over the top. Montoya first to react, bouncing off the tackle of Ross Byrne. He was in contact with Ballon direct after the Bravo won. Pollard, crossfield kick nine. now. Bit of room here for Hassel Collins if this sits up for him. Step back inside, tackled by Osborne. As you said, he's dangerous in possession, just hasn't had uh, enough opportunity. It's very few, hasn't he? Three or four times. No, you it. move, step back. I think Leinster oh, not happy that uh, Leicester closed the gap, squeezed Ryan Baird in the air in that lineup, but they got away with it. Again, that's happened three or four times now. A high ball for Hugo King isn't going to get there. Nobody yeah, puts a name on it. Somebody has to claim. You've got to make the call. You've got to be decisive. Using nine. Back with Gibson Park. Again, he's just taking his time here. 20 minutes to go on the clock. Tyler has a bit of time. Green on! Gibson Park. Hold on. Hugo Keenan. He's going for the 50 22. Yeah. Shilcock coming across. Green, stop! 13, stop! Well, on. Well, that was a terrible pass by Rossburg. It was terrible. And he'd all day. Not his finest moment. You just see it here, it just goes right over his head. On comes Jason Jenkins in place of Joe McCarthy. Yeah, Joe McCarthy's had a really good game. We go, guys. Really positive start, integral to the, one of those tries for Gibson Park. He's played a lot of big games this season, hasn't he, Joe McCarthy? Yeah, he has, and uh, you know, he actually played really well. When I think one of the games got him into the Irish team was that pool game down in La Rochelle when uh, Leinster yeah. beat La Rochelle in difficult conditions, if you remember. He stood up to the likes of Skelton that night. And uh, I think that particular performance is the one that got him into the Irish team for the uh, opening game of the Six Nations. Followed that up with a superb Burn. performance against France in Marseille. Set! Became a bit of a marked man, I think, then after that. He but did. uh, didn't have it all his own way, but uh, certainly made an impression tonight. Is it? Yeah, and uh, we'll come back to that in a second. Van Portfleet trying to get the pass away. Hassel Collins. Oh, look at the pace of him. Ah, oh, the pass! Oh, he did everything right except for the well, last they ball. butchered it. He did the hard part. Gone forward. Oh, that's a shocker. Shocker. Yeah. 
I think you lost control on the ball. Oh, he just almost panicked. I did, I he did the hard bit. I'm sorry. What's you this thing it? I have in my hands? The ball. <laughs> yeah, big scrum there from uh, Leinster, but Tigers getting the ball away just here. Hassel Collins does really well. Hands off James Lowe. Brilliant feet work there to get away from Hugo Keenan, but the pass unfortunately left him down badly. He is a talent. Two caps for England. I think uh, Eddie Jones was keen on him, but he got injured at the wrong time. Just Hugo Keenan here uh, got a finger put back in, I think. Yeah. Hopefully it's nothing more serious than that. And see Kieran Frawley getting ready to come in. On the Joe McCarthy um, issue, I, I always remember when James Ryan exploded onto the scene, Donald, he was he was the next Lions captain at one stage so early in his career. And I wonder if there's lessons maybe for Joe could take from James Ryan, a bit of advice that could be imparted there about early stages. Yeah, I've no doubt there is. Look, you do become, you come in under the radar for your first couple of caps when you make an impression like he did. You're a marked man. Uh, I think one of the on. issues, obviously, because one of his strengths is in terms of his ball carrying. So opposition defenders now are looking to double team him, uh, one low, one high, so that uh, it, it ratchets up the pressure. But um, he's 22 years of age, he has a massive future ahead of him. Another scrum then. Yeah, yeah, we go, we go, we go. It's coming. Impressive crowd at the Aviva, 40,775 confirmed. Yeah, that's incredible. And I, I bet there'll be more next week. There will. There won't be a ticket to be had. Coach! Quarter past five kick off as well. Nice. No, no Sociable space. time, shall we say? Not too late, yeah, not too early. It's fine. We'll just say no space. Like Munster tomorrow, 12:30 in uh, Franklin Gardens. And the, the news that uh, Shane Daly and Snyman ruled out. You have to wonder where is your luck done. That's incredible. Well, Munster just don't have any. I mean, uh, Snyman. In four years, Hugh, he's been involved in 13 games, seven starts, six off the bench. Never started a game in Thoman Park. Coach. Zero starts at Tumman Park, zero starts alongside Ty Burnlock, seven starts. Seven. And he's made 11 appearances for South Africa during that time. Just incredible, really. Anyway, that's for tomorrow. Leinster win the penalty, the power in the scrum. Yeah, Kian Healy again winning that one. Penalty goes against uh, Van Wick for coming across. Sorry, it's hurt on this side of the scrum. Yeah, he's in all kinds of trouble so against Key and Healy there. Let's go down pitch side. Bernard Jackman, 15 minutes to go. Leinster trying to close this one out. Yeah, look, it's really positive to see Leinster's replacement front row doing such a good job in the scrum because that's going to be key next week in 80 minutes. Scrummage in performance against La Rochelle. I think Leinster, the Robbie Henshaw try was brilliant and it shows that high, high outside man being able to be dangerous, but it's very naive to throw a long pass into a blitz defence like Leicester did. But oh, worryingly for Leinster, anytime Leicester thrown a lot of bodies at that 13 channel and play short passes, they've actually looked dangerous and Leinster have looked a little bit off. So maybe that's something that they can fix next week. But certainly if you're on Nagari, you're going to see lots of opportunities there in that 13 outside 13 channel, which Leicester have exposed but haven't been clinical when they got behind them. Do we know, uh, Birch, how long Gary Ringrose before he uh, goes back? He's running water tonight. Uh, yeah. My understanding is he's out next week. Um, really? okay. Yeah, but look at And Robbie Henshaw is, is actually yeah, defending yeah. at 13, attacking at 12, um, sort of rotating a little bit there. And look, good. it's something that can be fixed, but at the moment, it's certainly an area of concern for Leicester. Yeah, absolutely. And as you said, Robbie Henshaw's done a brilliant job at 13 for Ireland and indeed for oh, Leicester, but just, you know, Gary Ringrose. You'd, Leinster fans, I'm sure, would love to have him back as soon as possible. Well, it's the combination of the two, Henshaw and Ringrose, together. They know each other inside out. They have that understanding, it was like uh, O'Driscoll and Darcy yeah. in the previous the ball, era. You You're good? Fine. 19 on the ground, play the ball. You just feel... You know, Leinster, they'd like another try. That Jack Conan one that was chalked off just to close this out because if uh, if Leicester were to get a try, which uh, we know they're capable of, then all of a sudden you're in that squeaky bum time, seven points between them, and uh, you don't want to find yourself in that position. Yeah, substitute, double substitution for the Tigers. Tom Whiteley comes in. And uh, the Singer is also in.
And Portleaf gone off as well, and uh, he's had a good game, missed out in the World Cup for England because of injury. Good to see him back. Yes, you see that. First touch for Whiteley, Visa. Tackle low by Kalen Doris. Ball there for Montoya, bouncing off Ross Byrne again. He's got to get lower in the tackle. The chance around the fringe, it went forward. Yeah, Tigers unlucky. Well, they're causing problems as, as Bernard has okay, alluded to. Unru, and problem now for Leinster because Ross Byrne, he got uh, Montoya full on. Or is it a. Uh, well, you just see the knock on here, but uh, okay. Ross Byrne is in trouble, I think. You can reward the ball, so just a no call. Just no call move. Massive carry there from. Montoya, powerful man, and uh, but, but Ross Burns' technique was all wrong there. You're just asking to get injured. Yeah, he's in trouble. Tackles. Yeah, that's on the AC. That's painful. Well, they're going to have to take him off, I would imagine, straight away. Yeah, his brother Harry has well, already got the tracksuit off. If you remember, he got injured playing against Munster, if, if I remember, here in November, and that kept him out. You see the elbow is strapped up as a consequence of that injury. He's had no luck, really. No, but but equally as well, just like there's a couple of tackles today where he's just standing up and making yeah. no attempt to get low, and you're just like you're asking for trouble if you just turn yourself because into the tackle like that. But he gets, yeah, he gets Montoya. He tries to go low, to be fair, but he got it right on the point of the shoulder, and uh, that has to put a question mark over him. Will we burn in? Yeah. We'll see what happens. Hopefully, nothing too serious. But uh, his younger brother Harry on for the last 13 minutes or so. Yeah, but they wouldn't be writing Leicester off yet if they can get a score here. I mean, they've been dogged, determined. Nothing like the star quality on the bench that uh, Leinster have, but they're not going away. And this is the point that I was listening to Brian O'Driscoll speak this week about Leinster have yet to really find that top gear. The performances, they have been winning and impressively at times as well. They just have not put in that level of top performance that, you know, is there. A chance to intercept here for Crawley. Thought he was Robbie Henshaw away there. Oh, he's disgusted with himself. And again, it's that high line that Bernard was talking about coming up on the outside, the long pass. It's just you have such an opportunity when the pass is that long. It's in the air for so long. Really, he should have caught it, you know. Yeah, you're disappointed with himself. No, he had a long way to go. There you go. I mean, it hasn't been perfect by any manner of means from Leinster. They've struck at various times. I mean, if you like, the, the, the Robbie Henshaw try was fortuitous. It was. And against the run of play as well. Feels like a, a long time since the last of Jemison Gibson Park's hat trick. So, Tigers, what can they do from here? Set! Likely leaving it in the scrum. It's gone down on this near side, though. Penalty, Leinster. Yeah, I think Michael Allen told did the well there. The pressure. Van Wick came under Who's pressure, said? went to ground. And uh, that replacement front row, they've done the business tonight. They have Keller, Healy, Alalatoa. Montoya still on the pitch with uh, Van Vick and Hurd either side of him now. Green. Different props and Five different five. results. Time off. Seven. Cracknell going off. off. And... Uh, Seven win. Seven. On comes Mike Elioni. Okay. Open the gap. Time back one. So Kelleher this time finds the mark. Gibson Park delayed the pass to Laura Larmer. And now Jack Conan. Back it goes. Jordan Larmer getting ready to chase this. 
And there's plenty of height on this one, but an awkward one. It's come back on the Leinster side, Jenkins. Trying to go away over halfway line. Again, was fine, but Again, the blind side burn. Was and then moved back. Just took it straight, I think. Is the referee playing advantage there? The arm was out temporarily. Here's Roman Kelleher over the 10 metre line. Osborne calling for it. Back inside to Baird, trying to gallop away. Ryan Baird supporting the inside from Colin. He might get his try yet. He might get his try yet. Wow. Jack Colin. Not to be denied, Jack Colin. Again, out of nothing, Leinster just created that magnificently. That puts it beyond doubt now. Yeah, it certainly does. But again, just the interplay, brilliant inside pass from Jamie Osborne and uh, Jack Conan on support. I think it was uh, Ryan Baird. Yeah, it was Ryan Baird there and uh, brilliant line from Jack Conan. I think he was disgusted to have dropped the ball ten minutes ago, but not to be denied. Look at the change of line there, brilliant. Yeah, but the athleticism of yeah. that uh, back row, look at uh, Caelan Doris on the inside is another option. But uh, huge role in that played by Jamie Osborne. It was obviously a preset call in terms of the pass on the inside. But that puts it beyond doubt as uh, Jemison Gibson Park goes off the field and the crowd Listen, to the, to, it. Listen yeah. to the reception. I wonder why. What a game he's had. So, Harry Byrne knocks one over. Donald, I think we can all guess your man of the match for tonight. Yeah, well, I think it's great for once to have an easy choice to make. And uh, <laughs> look, Ryan Baird, Jack Conan there, putting themselves in the game. But uh, Jemison Gibson Park, absolutely outstanding in that opening half. Three tries and half an hour. Brilliant. Uh, just his ability to scan the space on the field. He is my Investec player of the match. Well deserved. Well deserved. James Lowe. It's a clear. Ben Murphy's just come off the pitch, or off the bench onto the pitch, I should say. And uh, he's going to play the last seven minutes or so. Yeah. Can't hold his first pass, though. No, the come yeah, I think he's on debut, is he? Ben Murphy. Um, no, he played it well. He's, he's oh, he came on against uh, Sale. Yeah, but. Uh, of course, his dad, Richie, up with Ulster now. Yeah. His brother, the Ireland under 20, out half. So Jack talented. Murphy, yeah. You just wonder how long will it be before the two of them play together for Leinster? Ah! Ulster playing Montpellier in the Challenge Cup tomorrow at the same time that the Munster Northampton matches on, which is. Uh, a bit of a shame just for Irish rugby fans who want to see both Bounce. matches, but anyway. Bounce. Set! Bounce. Set. Bounce. Still trying to bash his way through Solomon Kata. Here's Mike Brown, who's on the pitch, former Harlequins, of course, for years under Conor O'Shea as well, where they had so much success in England, and still playing at 38 years of age. Tigers now, lovely offload from the big man Harry Wells, finds Kata, and out it goes to Liebenberg. Well, that was a terrible tackle from Jamie Osborne. Stay right. Took the shoulder and out over the line. Flag is up now on the far side. Yeah, you've got to dap your hat though to Leicester Tigers, a proud club. Back to back, old Heineken Cups as they were in uh, 2001, 2002. No, 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 no. There is two receiver, no clear gun. And they haven't gone away. Massive carry there from Liebenberg. And I guess you think the we difference, the for that. Donald, that, that George Martin, Ollie Chesson, Tommy Raphael, Joe Hayes all could have made to this Tigers team? No question about it. And uh, But it's funny, I mean, they do have those guys, a lot of injuries during the year, but uh, they're they're down in seventh in the Gallagher Premiership, which uh, isn't a reflection, really. Oh, well, there you go. For Charlie Clare's just on the pitch, and over he goes. 
But a complete breakdown in that Leinster and the Leinster line out. Just want to see it again. Keller has thrown nobody got up in the air. You it's just see four it. now that I've just well it is it's just gone completely over you just see Baird and Kelleher looking at each other please then then on me please complete breakdown there gift of a try just an overthrow you know you can't afford to do that I'll get away with it tonight but plenty to work on shall we say <laughs> yeah and do you know what that's no harm either no harm 36 20, 56 points scored, eight tries, and Pollard to convert Clare's latest one to bring them to 22. No problem. He's a magnificent strike of the ball, Beautiful. isn't he? It's like watching a golfer with a swing. He's just sub sublime. Well, not, not, not you or I now, shall we just yeah. clarify? Maybe McElroy and Tiger Woods. I've seen your swing and you've seen mine. <laughs> yes. 36 22. Less said the better. Yeah. 14 points the gap. Three minutes to go. Yeah, just uh, interesting to see. I think Leinster, they'll want to strike back after that. They want to end this game having conceded a try. And I think Donald as well, you know, in particular, Jack Nenamer is not going to be happy, you know, with, with some of the tries they've made today, some of the tackling, the, the 13 line as well. Yeah, I agree. Plenty to work on. Plenty to work on this week ahead of La Rochelle. Penalty Tigers. They need two tries to tie it up. They've got too less late. than three minutes too now. Too late. He's on the ground. No, I think this game is beyond them now, but. No, no, 10, 10, 10, 10. What a game we have in prospect next week. But just a worry here now because uh, Kean Healy, is that his hamstring? He's just, uh, no, he's, he's uh, his sure knee. But this guy has the most... I think, look, did he get a stud or something down the back of his leg? There's a bit of blood there. Yeah. This guy has the most amazing powers of recovery of anyone I've ever seen. I remember he played against the, the, uh, against the New Zealand Maoris on that tour in 2022. Mm. He went over on his ankle and he was carried off in agony. I honestly thought we'd never see him again. It was so bad. In fact, I remember him going off... Uh, He's been brought to the hospital. I just happened to be standing uh, when he was being brought out, and I just look, wished him the best That's of luck because he's been an incredible player. He sat on the bench the following week. Amazing. No, they didn't bring him on. He obviously wasn't 100%, but his powers of recovery are amazing. Well, he's, uh, he's walking pretty gingerly now, and hopefully it's, it's nothing too serious. But uh, you know, then you talk about the World Cup, the final game against Samoa, and he comes off with that horrific injury yeah. and we think that's the end of Keane Healy as far as Ireland are concerned yeah but he's dogged determined go, go, go. The Tigers trying to add another one Captain of Singa and Kata combining Leinster off, off their feet. feet penalty yeah clear penalty there off feet. I've seen yellow cards given for them please. I don't ask you anything please Pollard wants to get on with it no. forward there but uh, Tigers are lying they're wasting a lot of time talking about it here like if they maybe they accept now that their fate is sealed but yeah they're going to have one last go and uh, Hassel Collins that we've mentioned about on a number of occasions he's out in the midfield they'll be looking to try and get him involved Charlie Clare has a hand on it. Still going forward. Kata slapped no down by Henshaw. No, knocked there's down. No yeah. Advantage being played to the Tigers. Just there's no that line speed gate. again, that blitz that uh, we've been talking about since the Arbor came to town. Visa, he's another one who had a very, very good game. Yeah. Huge amount of work. Crossfield kick now. Hassel Collins. No, can't get it. It's Mike Brown. Mike Brown, in fact, yeah. But again, Pollard just pinpoint accuracy. Try to reward on the Just gate. see Robbie Henshaw hand coming in. Sure. Definite knock on. Sorry, sure. Sorry. I think Pollard would recognise that. Exact same system South Africa okay. were using. 
délibéré. In the World Cup. Non J'ai un temps, je comprends. Allez. Voilà. That's okay. it. Game is up Just now. Just on the con. That's it. Okay. Still 50 seconds. You are the captain. You can be disagree. No problem at all. But no, you are not there to work. Happy? But I'm just asking uh, no, the question. No, I take my addition. I give you my explanation. If you're not happy with that, it's like this. For me, it's go into the gate. Try to run the ball. Yeah, I think he thinks it should have been more than... And yeah, that and look, I can see Liam Brown. Yeah. I can see Liam Brown. He's saying, "Why, well, if you stick a hand out and you, you, you slap the ball down, well, what is the difference between that and the James Law yellow none. card? The, the, the position on the pitch is the only yeah. thing." Yeah. Bang! Last play, then. Set. The feed from Whiteley again. Visa controlling at the back should be a penalty. It is a penalty. Yeah, one, this, this is a concern for Leinster. I mean, Engel. that uh, Leicester Mall, their scrum Thank in you. the last 10, 15 minutes. And uh, La Rochelle will be watching that. So one last line out then. It's Pollard's position the instructions. Just about taken, one-handed, picked up by Ryan Baird, and out it goes. Now, Murphy kicks it ahead. After it is Ryan Baird and Jack Conan. Back there, though, is Shilcock, and the Tigers fall back. Well, he's going to have to run the length of the pitch here. Some blue jerseys. No, you, you are him. The tackle on the full back, inside his own 22. Tigers trying to recycle the ball. Pollard, little kick over the top. Harry Byrne has missed it. He's under pressure as well, and he needs a bit of help here. Yeah, Leinster just need to get the ball off the pitch. Away! Murphy is going to send it into the stand, and that will seal Leinster's place in the Champions Cup quarterfinal. Yeah, deserve it. Look, they've been the better side by a, a country mile, but it, it's, you know, the game, the result really wasn't in doubt. Uh, certainly by the 30th minute when Gibson Park had scored his third try, but there is uh, sufficient issues, I think, you that will uh, uh, keep Neen Arbor and uh, Leo Cullen awake in the week in the build-up to this game next week because uh, La Rochelle, they're far from being at their best from what I've seen this season, but I guarantee you they'll be better next week and Leinster will need, uh, good and all as they were today, they'll need to be better than...